Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today, I'm going to be going through my pre-production process for my newest stop motion, Fireteam Nova. Now before I show you any of that, I want to give you some quick information. It's going to be a longer, story-focused stop motion. Once fully completed, this stop motion should range from 20 to 30 minutes long, and there will be a total of two parts to this stop motion. Fireteam Nova takes place during the events of Halo 2. It specifically focuses on the UNSC incursion into Delta Halo. It spotlights my ODST squad, Fireteam Nova. Making up the squad, we have the squad's captain, Veronica, who wields a magnum. Next we have James, who has a shotgun and is the team's heavy weapon specialist. Bane, who wields a sniper rifle and is the team's sniper. And last but not least, Jack, who is the team's medic and wields a suppressed SMG. Now I'll be showing you how I customize the ODSTs to my liking. Hey everyone, this is Future Editing Stopmo Pro here. Just wanted to say that this pre-production video took a long time to get out for whatever reason. So really the time in this stop motion, like when I started it, isn't I didn't start it when this video came out. As of this video being released, I started it about a month and a half ago and am really, really close to being halfway done. So yeah, just wanted to make you guys aware. Starting with Veronica, she was the ODST in the new UNSC Hornet set. I swapped her white fingerless gloves for a more darker skin tone, and that's pretty much all I had to customize with her. As for James, he was originally the heavy weapons specialist in the ODST Hive Exterminators pack. All I needed to do was swap out his shoulder pad for a sniper plate, and I was done. For Bane, I had a lot of swapping to do. Bane also came from the ODST Hive Exterminator set as the tech. First, I swapped the shoulder pads and boots for a darker type from the ODST Flood Hunter drop. Then I swapped the left arm for the ODST Medics arm from the ODST Hive Exterminator set. And that was all the customizing I had to do for Bane. Last, but most certainly not least, is Jack. Jack was the medic from the ODST Hive Exterminator's pack. First, I swapped his left shoulder pad for ODST Tarkov's printed shoulder pad. And then I swapped his left forearm with Bane's. And that completed most of the customizing. I did give most of them custom backpacks. James' backpack was made from the Halo Reach jetpack with a bar on the side of it. The bar was added so when not in combat, James could carry a shotgun on his back. Jack's backpack was similar, but I used the tech backpack, turned it on its side, and added the same bar on the side of it. I also added an assault rifle to clip right there, so when he's out of ammo with his SMG, he can just pull out his AR. For Bane, I just added a little bar on his back to carry his sniper rifle. And for Veronica, I just used the new ODST backpack, which looks super good by the way. The first scene will take place in a hangar bay, which I built using both Lego and Mega parts. And then when it was ready to be shot on camera, I simply added LED lights all around the background and darkened it so it made it look a lot more darker and just more cinematic. For the scenes inside the drop pod, I used the ODST Flood Hunter drop pod and simply took it apart depending on the viewpoint of the Spartan, whether it was first person or looking at the Spartan, I would adjust the ODST pod to the view that I needed. Next, I had to build the area on Delta Halo where the drop pod would hit down. What I did was very similar to what I showed in my background building tutorial. I used a bunch of the mega base plates and fit them all together to make them into a very large background, and then just added a bunch of bricks all around, made it look like a forest. For the part where the ODST pod hit the ground, I used a bunch of black mega bricks to indicate like burned ground. I also added a bunch of foliage and ruins pieces that I got from Mega Pokemon sets all around the background and that made it look really, really good. And that was my whole pre-production process. I'm going to be posting raw footage, behind the scenes shorts, and more videos like this on my channel about this stop motion soon. So stay subscribed, hit that bell notification so you don't miss it. And if there's any tutorials that you would like to see, like muzzle flashes, or how to do rig removal, comment that below and I will do my best to make a video on it. So that's that. Thanks for watching y'all and have a great day.